Thanks for tuning in to The House Doctor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fix a squealing shower valve. Do you hear that annoying sound? You mess with the shower valve, the sound changes a little bit. You swear you need a new shower valve, but you just might not. Check out the tub spout. I have a slight drip here. Before I start tearing the shower valve apart, which could be a lot of work, or trying to change the cartridge, I think it's the tub spout causing the problem. That little bit of a drip, the water getting through, can cause a tiny vibration to run through the pipes and make it sound like it's the shower valve. Besides, this is a much easier thing to try than messing around with the shower valve. There's generally two ways that a tub spout goes on. There's a copper pipe in here. Some of them have a fitting on the end that's threaded and the tub spout screws on. The other kind just slides over the copper pipe and there's an Allen screw underneath that tightens up so you can take the tub spout on and off. It's pretty easy, you just reach underneath and if it feels completely smooth underneath, you probably have the kind that unscrews. You just grab a hold of it and unscrew it. Sometimes you may need to get a big pair of channel locks on there or stick a screwdriver into the spout. But this one happens to be the kind that has an Allen wrench underneath. So let me take this off and see what we're working with. This is the bottom of the tub spout and right here is where you're gonna need to put your Allen wrench, loosen up this screw and take the spout off. Just unscrew it. You don't take it all the way out, just loosen it up a little bit. Should be enough. And then I, yeah, I can twist it a little bit. Now I'm just going to pull it off. Pretty easy to take off. Wait right here. I'm going to run to the hardware store and get one of these and show you how to put it on. Glad you didn't run off. I got my tub spout and I'm ready to show you how to put it on. First thing you want to do is get some emery cloth, sandpaper, steel wool, whatever you have laying around and clean up the end of your pipe. You see this green stuff I have here? Got to get that cleaned up. All you're looking to do is make sure that you don't have any rough edges or sharp points that are going to cut the o-ring that's inside the tub spout. If you have a faucet reamer, it's a good idea to run it around the inside of the pipe because whenever they cut these pipes, there's a little lip that gets forced up on the inside and it can cause a little bit of turbulence as the water runs through it and that could add to the noise. So it's a good idea to take one of these and clean up the edge of the pipe. Or you can take your sandpaper, emery cloth, and just work it around like this. Just be careful, don't put your finger in there. It'll really give you a nasty cut. It comes with destructions. Of course, we're not gonna need those. And all kinds of accoutrements. This little adapter comes with it. You slide that on. Little O-ring, put this on here. Line it up against there. Take your adapter and screw that on. Okay, now you put this big old ring on here, line it up with the notch, and get it started. Then you want to take a screwdriver and tighten it down against the copper pipe. It should break through the plastic and hold everything in place. And you'll know you have it tight enough when this won't budge anymore. You wanna take a little bit of this Teflon tape that comes with the kit and wrap it around there clockwise, nice and tight, about three, four times. And what we've effectively done is change this from the type of spout that has an Allen screw on the bottom to the type that threads on. So we just take our spout and screw it on. Let's give it a shot and see if it fixed our problem. No more drips coming out, no more squealing, no matter where we put the faucet.
Okay, let me try that again without all this noise. No more drips coming out of the spout when the shower's on. No more squealing. Saved ourselves a ton of aggravation by changing simple tub spout. Stop the squealing that a lot of people think is the shower valve. I know what you're thinking. The house doctor, he's a butcher. That's a brush nickel tub spout with chrome shower valve fixtures. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. This whole bathroom's getting remodeled. I'm gonna be retiling the floor in here, putting in a new toilet, changing the vanity, new medicine cabinet, light fixtures. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as the videos come out. You'll be able to see them right away and you won't miss any of it. One more thing. Probably should put a little bit of caulk along the top of the tub spout when you put it in if it doesn't come with a seal on the back. I'm not going to show that in this video. I have another video right up here. I'll put a link to it where you can check out how to install caulk, a couple of different ways to go about it. Thanks for tuning in and watching The House Doctor. And if you found any of this information helpful, give me a thumbs up. Thanks again.